You guys, we are putting the crappy trailer. You can see a lot has been done. It's not a crappy trailer anymore, it was. Yeah. Hey YouTube, it's Faye, and for today's video, I just wanna catch y'all up on where I'm at with tackling my to-do list on the crappy trailer. Of course, now that it's been sand blasted, and of course the old floor is all removed, really got a chance to see like the structural welding that needed to happen. So I kind of was under the impression that I'd be able to just sandblast it and then go ahead and paint it and just put a new floor in it and life would be good. But um, wait a second, is any project like ever easy at all? No, of course not. So of course there's a bunch of hidden work I wasn't expected in this thing. Couple that on top of the fact that there has been a massive heat wave in Texas right now, which completely saps the energy. And it's been a very long week. So <sighs> I'm gonna muster all of my strength and energy and enthusiasm to put on this video for y'all so I can show you what I've been up to with the crappy trailer, which actually is not really that crappy anymore. It's been getting a lot better, so I'm gonna have to come up with a new name for it at some point. But first, let's pick up where I left y'all last. Here's the thing, I cannot possibly be worse than the person who made this. The bar is set very low, so it's like almost no risk. Since my last video, I managed to make some improvements to the structure and rigidity of the crappy trailer. Most of this work was done well into the evening after it started to cool off a little bit. Man, the summer has been intense and welding these fenders has been a challenge because the galvanized material that the fenders are made of is so thin. Just the slightest little stick of the trigger and you're melted through. So I did end up needing to patch them quite a bit. So I decided that this one was way too far off um, this little wheel cover. So I had to just cut it off and I'm gonna grind everything down and you can see I'm cleaning it up and I'm just gonna start fresh. This one I actually was able to fill in because the person who made this trailer did get it close enough that I was able to fill in their gaps. The top is not as good as the bottom, but I'm just like, you know what? It's good enough. <laughs> So I'm gonna finish grinding all this off, clean it up, finish grinding all that off, clean it up, and then this is detached here, as well as this one is detached here. So clean those up. Oh, and that one is cracking off. I've gotta weld that back on. So I'm going to repair the screen, fasten those back together, get this on, and then I'm one step closer to at least getting something from my list done. <laughs> All right, so I have the hinges reattached, so that's nice. Now I've just extended it, kind of like overextended it more than it would be, and everything is still attached, so that's good. Now I really need to turn my attention to the rest of the structural welds in the trailer. You can see here that I've already ground down some of the built-up material from the previous owner here in preparation for me to attempt to reattach it. So I decided I wanted this piece to be level-ish rather than sticking up so that it matched that side over there. These are not at all identical. <laughs> this was really hard to fill, don't judge me. I'm showing my welding not because I think I'm great. I clearly have nothing to prove. I've never claimed to be a great welder, but I'm learning. Welder's freaking killing it. And over in here, you've got, Brandon's got a project going on. I think he's taking a little break because it is hot today. Man, it is definitely a good day to be uh, sponsored by a fan company. Woo, I'm gonna turn this back on and uh, I'll update you again in a second when you can hear again. <laughs> Here's some work in progress shots and I'm pretty stoked. I know they don't look like much, but not burning through that thin material is a miracle for a beginner like me. Now, there's really only one other section of this trailer that needs addressing, and that's the tongue. If you watch my last couple of videos on this thing, then I'm sure that you remember. So it looks like it's bowing right here. See, this weld is coming apart, and that's why this piece of <laughs> metal um, is hose clamped and exhaust clamped or U-bolt clamped into place. Okay. And don't forget this poor jack that doesn't even have a handle anymore, and it's like so seized together inside of the cylinder that it doesn't move anyway. I would definitely like to replace this with one that works. Actually, I got a couple surprises to my P.O. box over the last couple weeks from YouTube subscribers. You know who you are. Um, some folks sent me some gifts in the mail, some things for my crappy trailer. A toolbox, a new hitch, 
and actually, yes, a new jack with like a little caster wheel on it. So thanks to y'all, I'm actually able to check off some more items on my to-do list with the crappy trailer. So I really appreciate it. Now you've allowed me an easy way to solve both of these issues. With my new parts, I went ahead and designed a new tongue for the crappy trailer and decided where I wanted to mount up the trailer jack with my little caster wheel. But when the time came to weld everything together, I decided that it would be best to hire a professional to check everything over and complete my tongue modification, as well as examine the frame. Not that I don't trust my own welding ability, but as I mentioned previously, I'm still kind of learning how to weld. I never went to school for it. So if something went terribly wrong while I was driving down the road and something broke or detached, it wouldn't be me that would be hurt. Well, I mean, like maybe financially I would be hurt, but it would be the person behind me who would really suffer. So kind of as like a responsible human thing to do, I felt that it was right to have a professional take a last look at it, sign off on its roadworthiness, and just really get these structural welds done. So huge thanks to Ryan, and I kind of have a little bit of regrets here of the missed opportunity because Ryan was really knowledgeable and well-spoken, and I kind of wish I had asked him to be in this video because I'm sure he would have agreed to it, and then I could like actually give him personal credit, but he's um, a local welder here in San Antonio. Oh, wait a second, Jack, that actually works. I can check that one off. So on the topic of roadworthiness and safety, a lot of y'all had recommended this in the comments of my first video when I was first bringing the trailer home and asked for suggestions. But honestly, this was on my to-do list anyway, and that was check out the wheel bearings. Not just because there was like a little bit of clunking going on, but just from looking at the trailer, the wheels had a little bit of like negative camber to them anyway. <laughs> so could kind of tell something was wrong, but upon feeling them, I was like, oh yeah, these wheel bearings definitely need to be addressed. You can see that it's losing some grease right here. As you can see, that's a ton of movement. So let's get this wheel off and let's see what I can do to remedy the situation. Off with this little grease cap. This is what I was feeling. That's a little more play than I'm comfortable with. So let's back off this castle nut. Let's check this wheel bearing for wear. And I might wanna repack this before I head to the swap meet this weekend. Okay, so here's the little backing plate washer. There's rust on there. Water has gotten in there at some point. This washer might not actually be for this bearing. Look at the weird cut on the outside edge of this thing. Was this modified to fit in there? I don't know, but if that's the case, I definitely don't wanna lose it, so we'll set that aside. And now we're just going to pull this off. Look at that. Uh, oh, well, no, there is pitting. Okay, at first I thought it was just staining, but it is not. Let me point out that there is a part number, so I will be able to hopefully find a new one. <laughs> also, look at more of this crappy welding. All right now I'm just gonna clean stuff and kind of observe. Does that even sit? All right, so, so far we've got this weird situation. Okay. Okay, but at least that holds it in place. Look at that weird rust that's in this grease. Now, I don't really have any replacement parts for these wheel bearings on hand. It's a Saturday morning, and I'm gonna meet up with Danny in an hour or so, so I'm just gonna clean, inspect, and tighten these up a little bit for now, and if anything else needs addressing later, I'll handle it at a later date. Now, this washer, I've gotta go home and figure out if I've got anything like this at the home shop, but you see that ridge right there? This washer should have a notch in it that'll sit in that ridge so it doesn't turn. This one does not have. Yeah, that sounds a whole bunch of not good, but Really nothing I can do about it right now. I need to get some new parts. Hey, but it's clean. Pack of fresh grease, tightened, no longer feels sketchy, so that's a win for now. And I'll look up these bearing part numbers on Monday. And I'm gonna install these with my impact, but once it's actually hooked up to the back of my truck, 
and it's not going to go anywhere, then I'll actually be able to torque these down and I'm just torquing them to 100 foot pounds because, I don't know, sounds good. I don't actually know what the torque specs for this trailer are. <laughs> So, I guess all that's left now is to check and do the other side. Wow, okay, that basic maintenance item made a huge improvement on this trailer already. I think we are ready to make our maiden voyage. I quickly hurried up and got the other side done, just in time to make it over to Hill Country Performance where Danny and Shop Mom were waiting for me because it is time to bring the Smoky Unic hot vapor engine home and actually swap it into the Plymouth Horizon. Uh, clearly the trailer is not done yet people but um, we're just we're putting it to use we're absolutely putting it to use oh my goodness hello what have we got going on today mm -hmm. oh hey daddy hey. You are ready. oh hello <laughs> check this out this baby is coming home today yes sir yes ma'am <laughs> Said yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I get called sir all the time. I have no problem being called sir. <laughs> so it's a compliment around here. <laughs> yeah, because then you're just one of the guys. <laughs> here it goes. We began by strapping down the pallet to the trailer as securely as we possibly could, of course, because this thing currently has no floor in it. It was weird. It came on its own stand, but yeah? it was just laying on there. It didn't have these special brackets. You so made those? So yeah, I made these to hold the engine on. This was Smokey stand, and then I made a stand to hold Smokey stand. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a little obsessed. So, it came like I said. He just had it laying there sideways on it, and it was strapped onto this this stand. So like I said, I just made these little mounts and stuff, and then I didn't want to I didn't want it to roll on its own stand. So. You see, Danny and I had the sudden urge to just do it in terms of swapping the hot vapor engine into the darn car because you know those things that you always talk about but you just never do? So we've been talking about this for like well over a year now. Danny mentioned that the only problem was, how do we get the engine home? Okay, well the trailer isn't finished, it has no floor, but that does not stop it from being useful. We gotta check the tire pressure now that it's loaded down. Okay. We now have the trailer taking its first, its maiden voyage, doing something of value. What more value can we possibly bring to the table than bringing home Smokey's engine? I know. So today is Saturday and our plan tomorrow is to pull the old engine out and we'll see if we can get this one in. All of my new. We're like the Peter, Peterson Museum of Automotive Technology. <laughs> Yeah! Where do you think you're going? You're getting in the driver's seat, mister. Oh, no. Yeah, oh yeah. You think I'm driving this with us? Okay. No, 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 you're driving, you're driving. <laughs> Danny's driving the junkyard truck. Danny's got a grim repo going on. This is excellent. All right, let's find out. <laughs> there, she there she is, so we're ready. We're officially oh, ready. Let's just take it nice and easy. Let's take it nice and easy. Am I nervous? No, we're not nervous. Oh, no. This is gonna be great. Oh, there's, even coming. there's no one coming. It's nice and easy. Oh, god. oh my god, like a dream. Like a dream. It's so smooth. There she goes. Wait, you're supposed to follow us and make sure nothing falls off. Oh no. <laughs> Who's gonna pick up if we drop anything? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna watch it like a hawk, Danny. That's me. I'm watching it like a hawk. Oh my god. I'm so nervous when it's driving. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. At the same time, right? Yup. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> it's just, it's so nice. It backs up perfect. This is excellent. Look at that. We made it. We are so stoked.
Level. Oh my god. We did it. That's okay. it. Okay. It was, it was oh no! Alright, we ready to pull her forward. Yes. First use of the crappy trailer. That is really starting to be not so crappy not, anymore. You need to change the word. You need to give it another name. I need to give it another name. Yeah. <laughs> This Just wait till it's painted and has a floor in it. Sounds like I do. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's official. Yeah! As scary as this looked, it, oh. it, it actually was pretty cool. Yeah, that wasn't really that sketchy after all. No, no, exactly. It looks sketchy, but it wasn't sketchy. <laughs> Not anybody paranoid there. We'll get all kinds of, oh my god! I think it's time! It's time? We're, uh, and we'll take it slow, but... If you want to see more about what we're going to be doing, check out Danny's channel because he's got his camera over here. Oh, and earlier I mentioned the swap meet. I did not find the 7M that someone told me was there, but I did find a hood ornament for the trailer. My hood ornament! Five dollars. So let me see if I actually have five dollars. Now obviously there's still a few more things left to do before I just like paint this thing and put a floor in it. I'm still going to figure out where I want to mount my toolbox. That's right, someone got me a toolbox. Um, where exactly I want to mount my winch. I've got a couple different styles of winch that I think I'm going to put on the trailer. And also I just got some latches for the tailgate. Right now I'm still using exhaust clamps, but that's not going to be that way forever. So no fear, I will show you all the updates in my next video on the crappy trailer series. So um... Stay tuned, because this things get pretty intense. Hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.